Hi, I'm Bridget A from Drunk Dog Creative, and I've got something really special for you today. I am unboxing my pre-order from the September to December 2024 mini catalog from Stampin' Up. Now, I can only show you the cover. I'm not allowed to show you what's inside these wonderful pages until the 6th of September when it goes live, and that's when I'll have a digital copy on the blog, so drunkdogcreative.com. There'll be a live copy of this 6th of September, which is when you can order from, and there's all sorts of goodies for all the holidays, up through to Christmas, and a whole bunch of non-holiday stuff too. This little mini catalog has me so excited. And while I can't show you the catalog, I can show you the box of goodies that arrived today, which is right here. So I've just come home from work to find it on my doorstep. As an independent demonstrator, we can order things from the new catalogs about a month before, so we can make things with them and show you um, some um, innovative ways of using the products. So I'm gonna unbox my pre-order for you so you can see some of these. Now, you all know me by now, you know that July, August is when I go, uh, go to town with the holiday triumvirate of Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. So yes, I live in Australia, but as you know, I've got an American accident, accent, <laughs> um, and I grew up in the States. I've got a lot of family and friends over there, so I do the American holidays as well. Um, I'm sorry, my camera is shaking and I don't know why. Anyways, hopefully that won't make anybody seasick. I'm gonna just get this open. This is a one-take unboxing, I'm not editing. Let's see what goodies we've got in the box. Oh, this is so exciting. All right, I'm gonna pull out all of the fluff, the air packs. Oh gosh, there's so much in here that's so exciting. So I did get one of the sweets um, and it was a sweet that was just too beautiful to pass up. So let me see if I can find that. Um, oh, there's just so much to it, hang on. Okay, so the first thing I've got is the sweet, which is the Season of Elegance sweet. Let's start with the paper. It's really, I'm gonna have to unwrap it for you to see it because I'm dying to see it in person. This is gorgeous holiday season papers with gold foil. Again, they're all double-sided 12 by 12 inch. So there's the green and gold with um, a plain green background. There's two of those sheets, I think. Hang on. There's kind of a white and vanilla and cream. So a really beautiful neutral with the same without the gold on the back. A couple of those. Of course, we've got the red for Christmas. Isn't that beautiful? And then there's a slightly different pattern green can you see how gorgeous that foiling is? And then, oh, this is like the pretty peacock and lost lagoon colors, which I have to say, those are two of my favorite colors. That is just beautiful. And then again, that sort of vanilla-y white and gold and beige. So you can do a classic Christmas, you can do a colorful Christmas, you can do a neutral Christmas. And I'm using those words specifically because the new catalog coming out has ideas for all those color schemes. Now with that suite is this beautiful ribbon. It's like that gorgeous gold and, um, I'm gonna have to look it up because I can't remember off the top of my head. And it oh yeah, the cherry cobbler and gold ribbon. I don't know if you can see that. So it's cherry cobbler and gold. There are, I'm trying to remember what's in the suite and what is from other things. I'm having a hard time remembering. Okay, so let's talk about the dies and stamps that come with it. It comes with an embossing folder, one of those six by six ones that embosses those Christmas trees. Open. 
so there I love the size of these so it embosses those beautiful Christmas trees and it's that larger size which is great for making other things now let's talk about the stamp sets that come with this there's two stamp sets in this suite and dies that match the first one is called peaceful Christmas which are all your wonderful Christmas sayings um, if you can read those off the screen I hope they're not reversed um, and that comes with a set of dies that coordinates with them. Now, when you, when you see the suite in the catalog, you can also buy just the die and stamp bundle. You can buy all of the items individually, or you can get them all as a suite. When you get the stamp and die bundle, it's about 10% less than buying them separately. And I think the suite has a bit of a discount too. So what you can see here are the dies and they coordinate with all of these messages, either to cut out tags to put them on or the Christmas uh, background and letter. I love this kind of die where I can cut out the word itself and a background for it. I love those. So there's your peaceful Christmas set. The other die stamp that comes with it is peaceful evergreens. So this is where you can make really fun um, Christmassy scenes where you can layer them and do interesting things. If you want to use embossing powders, if you want to just ink it, if you want to do um, a, a, a watercolor technique, or there's a technique I'm doing a video on soon where you use a, a wet wipe with ink to give it a really unique kind of coloration. So keep an eye out for that coming soon. So that's the beautiful, the peaceful evergreens. And that also has a coordinating die set. Now, whenever there's a stamp and die set, I personally always get both of them because there are times where I really want to cut the dies, cut the image out and not just stamp it. And I hate fussy cutting. I'm terrible at it. I don't like doing it. So I really do prefer to get the die set with it. I do have um, a cutting machine and I can scan the image and cut it. But man, that's an awful lot of work to get that image scanned correctly. So I'd rather just get the die set with it. There's two panels here. So that creates some backgrounds as well as cuts out the trees and creates a few other little things, a bow. If you want to, so these, this, this, and this together create a, a bow out of paper. And that coordinates with those beautiful stamps that give you backgrounds and trees. So that's that set. Um, now I can't remember which of these gems came with it because I ordered some separately. So I did order the faux glass dots because I thought they were really good colors for Thanksgiving cards. I think the gold textured adhesive back dots are the ones that come with this suite. And that would make sense with the gold foiled paper, wouldn't it? Um, but so you can see I also ordered those for Thanksgiving. And for some really fun Christmas cards, for my grandkids and for other kids, I got these gorgeous little um, real red and white adhesive back peppermints. So they look like little peppermints and they're all adhesive backed and they coordinate with real red and with white. And to go with that, I got this fabulous reindeer paper. I'm sorry, I just couldn't resist. There's also this amazing die and stamp set of reindeers. And I'm kind of regretting that I didn't just get the whole suite. But like everyone, we're all on a budget these days. Um, but I may give in and go back and order it again. But the paper is just too adorable for kids and for not just cards, but to make packages out of little envelopes and boxes and things for kids. So we've got, again, double-sided 12 by 12 inch, reindeers on one side, gifts on the other. If anyone saw the advent calendars I made last year, I used paper like this to make little pillow boxes um, um, for my grandkids and also for the adults. So there's another adorable reindeer with hollies on the back. Green, oh, green reindeer. And again, little Christmas lights or pennants. There's two sheets of each double-sided. Here's a little reindeer family. And on the back is like a tartan present wrapping. Um, this paper also makes good gift wrapping, by the way, and makes great gift boxes, um, like to cover boxes with, um, which I'll show you in a minute. Oh yeah, I saw that one. See, I'm too excited. I'm losing track. Um, 
There's another one. And this one has a little reindeer snowman. How cute is that? It's adorable. And the little red and white um, little jingle bells. Oh, as I hit the camera. So that's the uh, the reindeer. Give you the exact name. Reindeer Days 12 by 12 inch designer series paper. That is fabulous. Now, I was talking about gift boxes. They have also in that suite, which I didn't get the whole suite, these. These are book treat boxes. I'm gonna put one of these together at the end of the video and show it to you because these make treat boxes that look like a book and you can decorate it with DSP and the adhesive dots and the ribbons and all that fun stuff. Now, the other thing I got was this beautiful Blackberry Bliss textured ribbon with gold. Blackberry Bliss is an underutilized color, I think. It's one of my favorites. It is so rich and beautiful, and it just adds that touch of class to things. So when they came out with a ribbon to match the Blackberry Bliss paper, I had to grab it. So I've got that. Now the other fun die and stamp set, last thing in the box that I've got, <laughs> and I can't wait to try this. This just looked like the coolest idea. This is called Hang an Ornament Stamps. And as you can see, you can stamp ornament bulbs, right? And you can decorate them with, you know, the hook, the cap, leaves, holly leaves. There's two different designs. But when you pair it with the die set, that's when magic starts to happen. And I think I'm going to have to make one of these and add it to this video at the end because I can't wait to try this. This to me seemed like such a cool idea. Wait till I get these dies out. So these are the dies that go with it. Um, that blank spot across the middle of the ornaments can be filled with either of those, which you can put a sentiment in or, you know, put some um, little embellishment dot, like dots in them. Uh, and that's really cool or leave them blank. But when you cut it out, it perforates it. And it's got a little, um, there's a little stamp that says pull because you can pull the ornament off the card along the perfor perforation and actually hang it on the tree or hang it up somewhere in your house as a decoration. So you can stamp the ornaments and you could even stamp the background behind it. So when you pull it off the perforation, there's still the look of an ornament there, but the actual ornament pulls away. And because of those dies, it's perforated, you tear it off, and you can hang it anywhere in the house or on your tree. So I think that's gonna make a really neat little card. And I'm gonna try and make one and put it at the end of this video for you. So that's my little Christmas unboxing uh, or holiday unboxing. It is from the new catalog, which starts in September and runs through the end of December. I can't, I'm not allowed to show you what's in it until then. And I'm so sorry because I really want to. There's lots of stuff in here besides the holiday stuff, but the holiday suites are just awesome. So if you're gonna start your card making in September rather than July like I did, and I wish I'd waited, um, although I still have plenty more cards I need to make, then this is the catalog that you wanna check out. So digital version will be on drunkdogcreative.com for you to download. If you are in Australia and you want a hard copy of this, send me a message with your name and address. And when I get the stack of them, because I only have one right now, I'll send it out to you. Anyways, um, happy inking, happy making. And hopefully I'll be back in a minute to show you some of the goodies. Okay, here's my three quick projects that I made with uh, my pre-order that arrived tonight. Like I said, I was going to do. The first is, this is what those book boxes look like. As you can see, it's an actual box. Um, I cut some of that reindeer paper and used a corner rounder and adhered it to this outside bit. Um, I put a glue dot there. It has a strip of tape to seal it, but since I haven't filled it, I didn't want to seal it yet. This is the inside box and it's um, taped to the outside cover. Um, and the glue strips all come pre-applied, so it's very quick and easy to assemble. You can decorate the inside um, any way you want. I just did a very quick and easy outside to make it a little treat box 
for Christmas. That's the back side of this paper. That was the Reindeer DSP. So easy to make. Um, this was the Christmas ornament. Now this one isn't a pretty card because um, I wanted to show you the effect of the perforation. Um, so I did this very quickly. Um, and because I can't use it again once I pull this off, I just threw it together. But using traditional Christmas colors of um, the real red and the, the spruce, um, I stamped this in, in the spruce and I used some gold embossing powder from Stampin' Up um, and did the sentiment and glued it to it. But this is what happens. It's perforated, so it pulls off. And I didn't center that right because I did this very quickly, but you're still left with, you know, whatever you want to stamp in there. So the card still stands. And if I had gotten into my Christmas stuff in the garage, I would have put a real ornament hanger on this. And then this could have been hung from, you know, the metal hanger. And then this could have been hung from a tree or, or anything. You could even write a special message on the back you know, baby's first Christmas or heart uh, missing you while we're spending Christmas apart or any sort of message. And then this could hang. Um, and that's it. It pulls off the card and you can stamp the same image behind it or other images or whatever so that the cards is still okay. Um, had I done this for real, I probably would have embossed this white or stamped images on it and cut them a little differently. But I threw that together quickly. However, I was so excited at making that that I did take the time to make a normal card with them and it's still drying. <laughs> but this is what I mean by, you know, some alternative color schemes for Christmas. So what I've used here is basic white thick for the card base, but I've used the new beige um, card stock for the background and I've used Lost Lagoon, uh, Pretty Peacock and Blackberry Bliss. And I cut the strip of Blackberry Bliss and glued it to the beige and then ran it through that Christmas tree embossing folder that I showed you earlier. And by running it through together, you can see the tree comes all the way down. And then I, I did uh, the ornaments in gold embossing powder. And then I cut out this strip with the dies with the sentiment. And then I used some gold foil that I had and cut these pieces with the die. So you can see here, um, I only, I only use the stamp image, but then you can cover it with, um, you know, silver, gold, whatever color you want, and, and a little hanger. And then I glued them together. Um, and I used some of the um, metallic uh, enamel effects to just put some dots instead of another sentiment. And I'm going to give you a hot tip. If you're ever using dots, how many of you have ever gone to test, oh, is that dry yet? Is that dry yet? And you've smudged it or smushed it because it wasn't dry yet. So this is what I do. I take a piece of scrap cardstock and I make a dot or a dash or whatever I'm doing on it at the same time I do this. So if I want to test it, or even a couple of them in case I test it a couple of times, um, I can test that and not risk smudging that. So that's your hot tip for today. But this is sort of an alternative color scheme. This is the box. This is the one that you can remove and use for something else. I'll do a better version of that in a tutorial at some point. Same with this. I'll do a tutorial for this over the next couple of weeks. But that's what I made tonight really quickly just before dinner um, from some of the products in the new, new stuff I got. So if you want the catalog, shoot me a message. The um, digital version of it will be on the blog uh, 6th of September. And Merry Christmas!